Okay, what's up? Mm. What are you doing? Something. What's up? Can't tell you. Okay, you know you can tell me, and there's obviously something big, but otherwise you won't be sat outside in rain. I can't tell you. Becky, okay, you know you can tell me, tell me everything. I can't tell you this. Is it about your mum? No. Craig? No. Are you pregnant? No. Well, Becky, I can't help you unless I know. I can't tell you. Becky, you can talk to me. Well, there's something big to get this worked up. Mm. Talk to your mum then, or talk to your nana. No, I can't. Becky, you've got to talk to someone, otherwise it'll leave you <laughs> up. Well, why don't we go to Chesney's tomorrow when it's open? Speak to Darrell. She's a youth worker, so it's confidential. And sometimes it is better to speak to a stranger than someone you know. You sure you don't want to tell me? <laughs> How bad is it on a scale of one to ten? Ten. There's nothing to do with board. Just sat here in the rain, freezing. There's so something to do, so we're always bored. Yeah, so it like takes hours away as well, makes it quicker so we've got to get to go in and then we all can say on that night like, oh yeah, we had a good night, we were drinking and that. <laughs> and that's what we do though, doesn't it? Just save, save every week. <clears throat> and then when you go in drunk and then that's it. Same again. Yeah. Well, what effect do you think this would have on your health in the future? Could get, we could get a liver failure or out. But you don't think about that when you're drinking, there's no else. If they come up with something else, but they're in. So, we're just going to ruin those lives either way. Well, we're not if we didn't do it, but... <laughs> that's the only thing that's good. It's all of us do the same thing, so... You can't exactly, like, so ring, like another no. mate, ring another mate up while we're doing this, because we're doing exactly the same yeah. as you're doing yesterday. Like, there's some people in high school who are not like us, but... Yeah, but they just stay at home. Yeah. <laughs> we like in our school, like us and them lads and that, we're like Don't say it <laughs> No, <laughs> but we just like we think you don't we? With most like going out and all that. Out of them all, but no else to do. So we were waiting outside shop on Friday. Like we normally do, every weekend, Friday and Saturday. We were asking loads of people if they'd go and shop for us and we all said no. And then these two men walked past and just stood there. So my mate Becky asked them to go and shop for them and they said, what for? So, and then we said, some beer. And they said, um, oh no, we can't be doing that. So then we said, all right then. So we, we were just stood there waiting for some more people to come by and they were just staring at us as mates from, they were like a bit up street. I walked up to them and started shouting at them, saying, oh, what you're staring at, have you got a problem? They pulled badges out and said, um, if you carry on giving us grief, we're going to nick you. So then me and Becky um, just turned around and started laughing because we were just in so much shock. And they told us all to clear off and so we were, we were just walking off and one of them went, oh, uh, actually wants to take your name. So we gave them false names. And um, we had to go in at half seven because there were no else to do. I don't actually think that you really, your parents can control you that much. Because no. what else can we do except from ground you? Because you grab drink, you go in, you're grounded. A week later, you're back out, you drink again. Yeah. You're not going to stop it. It's, cult no it's a culture of people yeah. who do this our age. Yeah. And I know our parents did it and everything. I know a lot yeah, of parents I did do. it. I do. Just some old people who complained about it, they didn't because it were like 
different times in olden days. We've got to get the young ones more orientated for somewhere to go. They're just, half of them's just running, not all of them, but some of them's just running wild. And if we could get something for them to do, it would be a lot better. My name's Levi, I'm 15. I used to live in Feverston and then my mum decided to get divorced. So we had to move about a lot, which means I had to move away from my friends and I had to readjust to everything. And I had to try and still see my friends at the same time as well as making new friends. And we moved in with my cousin for a while. I had to babysit all the time for a three-year-old and I was only 13 at this point. But um, I was babysitting every single day, all the time. I never got to go out, I never got to meet new friends, I never got to see my friends. And in the end, I ended up with really bad depression from it. And then a lot of family things happened to do with relatives dying and things like that. And it led to me, in the end, uh, attempting to take an overdose. I ended up in hospital really poorly with it. So then we moved to Castleford. But then, like, more and more things went wrong and then I attempted another overdose because my depression got worse and worse. But I think it not sense into me that I needed to stop being so stupid because it was just a big mistake, really. When I moved to where I live now, I got in with different friends and they had different opinions and everything like everybody else does. So then it was just like your weekends or basically you'd sit, you'd drink, you'd get bored, you'd probably end up arguing with somebody, you'd see fights, you'd see violence, you'd see police quite a lot because they're trying to keep everybody safe and everything controlled. And it just wasn't really a good way. It was just same thing every week. And you'd have, I'd have ended up getting myself into really big trouble if I'd have carried on. When I first heard about this group, I was excited about it because it were a chance to do something different. Like, even though I already did dance, it was a chance to try a new type of dance with new people and meet new people and try new experiences, new things. Got a chance to perform more because there were a show every, like, month or so. But I was quite, I was kind of, I don't know, anxious to start with because I knew I was going to have to give up my Friday nights and I knew what that was only time when you have a laugh really because it's the only time when you've not got school next day, you can go do what you want, you're allowed out later and everybody seems to have a laugh. So I, I was quite, I don't know, I was worried about it to start with because I thought, well, what will I miss out on? But that don't matter to me now because the things that I am missing out on, I'm gaining much more by being here, so it makes up for it. Because we've had to perform a lot more, we've, had, we've managed to build confidence, your esteem. You can talk to people more openly, you don't need to be worried about it because everybody here is not bothered. And I think most importantly what's made me happier is the fact that I've made a lot of new friends and I've got even more friends than what I already did have. And then it's just, it's nice to know that there's somebody else that understands things and my mood's picked up a lot more. It's made me feel better about myself. If I hadn't met these people, I wouldn't be the, pe the person I am today because their mood has an impact on you. The way people are around you impacts how you are as a person and they're such positive people, it just, it helps you yourself to be, try and be a better person and it's worked. I've developed from this group is we've learnt new types of dance so I'm, I'm, I'm more like I can focus more on what I need to do. My concentration's a lot better because I've got to listen to people more and take stuff in more. My singing's improved a lot obviously from doing stuff like that. Uh, my relationships with people have improved a lot more. The way I talk to people I find it easier now because I know that I don't need to worry as much about what people think or say about you because of people I've met here, it's, it's a lot easier. And other stuff like, they've done first aid courses for us, they've helped us with shows, we've gone to a recording studio, learned how to use recording equipment, so we know how to do that. I've started learning to play the drums through it, so I know how to play the drums now. It's just things that you've learned that I never thought I would have done.
the Arts Award, it's been it's been challenging in ways because you need to remember everything you've done. You need to drag it all back up again and think about everything, focus on it. And we mean not being at school quite a lot. Yeah, it has been a little bit harder for me, but the only thing I've never really struggled with is my English. I find it easier to express things through writing them down. So it's good for me because I can do it and I know I can do it and I'm confident that I can do it. My mum's even noticed a difference in my mood. Though I don't know, it sounds stupid, but things like your appetite. I eat a lot more now because I'm a lot more confident. I feel more comfortable, I sleep better, my mood's improved. And I found it easier, like, I had enough friends already, but I can make it, I've made even more friends now because I'm not shy about going up to somebody and saying hello to them. I'll just do it, I don't think about it. So I've made a lot more friends because of that. And I, f I just, I feel a lot better in myself. And I feel confident that I can make new friends whenever I need to, or if I need to talk to somebody, I can do it. If I need help, if I ever needed advice or help on anything, I could talk to somebody from here and they'd just help you straight away. I think the most life-changing thing from this has definitely got to have been the fact that I'm not on the streets anymore. It's changed everything for the better. I'm not getting into trouble, and I'm not going to get into trouble if I'm here. It's going to be a lot better. And when you, and I think what's more important is when you actually realise how many people you've got to help you, how many friends you've got that you can talk to about things if you're ever having hard times. I think that's what's. I think that's the most positive thing about it. You've you've got so many people to help you. You're not getting into trouble. It's just saving you really from. I mean, some people will get in trouble with the police. They could end up in prison because they're not focusing on the life properly. They haven't got a goal. Whereas things, the, things like this group, they give you a goal to reach. They, they set you a goal that you can aim for. I'll have a qualification from this when I come out of this project. So if I want a career in the performing arts industry, that'll help me because if the safety it will watch your previous experience. You can set, well look, I've, I've reached this myself, I've worked for this. This is what I've made of it.